Hi. I got here just uh, in time. Hi. 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 How you doing? Hi. 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 How are you? Okay. I, it, I'm glad. I'm, it's nice to be needed. Um, <laughs> so, so yeah, the, uh, the reason why a disgruntled employee can take classified document home, documents home and stash them for a little while and not get in the same trouble as everyone else is because everybody else wants the company to be there the next day right and so okay. we're having to tiptoe in a way that we never have had to before um and because he's so stupid about it that he might in a fit just throw things in the air yes at an event or something like it's that bad it's one of those things where you're we're talking right. they're in the they were the, well, if you look at this I just mentioned this uh, to you before we went on the air, but this NARA letter that they put up, uh, the National Archives letter that they gave up to, his five-page letter, them responding to him, his magical privilege mm -hmm. idea, that he was just automatically declaring p previous privilege to everything in all the boxes and all of his houses. That, and they wrote this letter back going, yeah, dude, that's not how it works, dummy. You lost. And the new guy gets to de decide what's privileged and what ain't. He also gets to decide, yeah. the new president, what documents can leave and which ones have to come back. Because he's got to make real decisions about real life stuff right now. Yeah. And he needs to know what you've been talking about and to whom. And if you're hiding those documents, you are right. you are effectively shortchanging well, the United States in negotiations. This is what I was mentioning earlier, Hal, that Michael Cohen says Trump may have stolen our top secret documents to extort America by using them as a get out of jail free card. Mm -hmm. Trump's mindset may have been if you incarcerate me, these documents are going to be released to Iran, North Korea, Russia or China. I mean, yeah. yes, he is not and always has been an ongoing threat to America. Now, now Watch, watch for the MAGA response to the fact that when we finally see what some of these documents are, we find out that a lot of them were dummies given to him by the, the intelligence community because they knew he was a threat. So they started feeding him false information like he was some sort, like a double agent they caught in, the, in World War II. Like, we're on to him, but don't let him know we're on to him. Start, start handing him kids' drawings that look like uh, where the tanks are poised before D-Day. You know, they, they right. do that kind of stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if we read it all and we're like, nobody really th thought this. He thought this was real? You know, <laughs> right. fingers crossed. I always thought they gave him like a Fisher-Price nuclear code, something that was just, yes, That's this right. is it. Um, they gave him a speak and spell. <laughs> so it sounds just like me. It sounds <laughs> just like me. <laughs> it's a Trump and say. Um, mm -hmm. you, yes, you referenced this story, uh, self-inflicted wound, Trump's de de release of damning National Archives letter blows up in his face. Trump's team thought the letter would help their case. Legal experts say it did the opposite. So explain what this is, because it, all right. Trump, so this what does been... Bob Sesco always say, which is you, if you get you wet and feed you after midnight, Bob Sesco. That's, but that's true. <laughs> he said Trump always makes things worse for Trump, right? Yeah. Yeah. Count on it. Yeah. I, that's why I really don't fret a ton of this stuff because he can't even screw up well. So even if he meant to sell the documents, he was probably holding out for more money because he's so broke. So he never went through the process. My, my fear with those documents is not that he was selling the documents themselves, but simply access to them. Pay me, you can come and spend a little time alone in the room with them. Um, think uh, Epstein and a local teenager. And that's the, you know, and. Dershowitz. Um, it, that's he took that kind of strategy. This NARA letter. So this is this this stuff has been going on for a year and a half. Like they knew within thirty days that he had left with documents he was not supposed to take, and it was a red siren moment everywhere. And so they've been negotiating for a year. Like we, I, I guarantee there have been FBI and Secret Service that aren't on his detail and others watching Mar-a-Lago, logging every person who goes in and out for the last year and a half because they got to know if this stuff goes in the wind, where it went. And they can't get to it without something as brash as, as serving a search and seizure warrant. Because it was, again, it wasn't just a search warrant. They knew what was there. It was a search and seizure warrant. They were getting back yeah. things that did not belong to them. So the NARA document came in May, I believe. And it was, he had... <laughs> He had given them 15 boxes in in January after a year of negotiation and then basically having to threaten him like, you can't have this stuff. And when they got the boxes back, 
it didn't just have classified stuff in it. It didn't just have top secret stuff in it. It didn't just have SCIF stuff in it. It had SAP documents in it. Special access privilege, the absolute highest form of top secret that we have in this country. Yeah. And he had it in a storage closet with one of those pinhole locks like you have on a bathroom to make sure your kid can't lock themselves in there yes. by accident. Yeah. And then that, that it was still in that room till May or June, mid-June, when they said, could you please at least put a, a lock on there? And they meant deadbolt. He meant padlock. They put a padlock on it. Now, I have yet to be convinced that they closed the padlock. I, I, I think they just <laughs> hung it there. And like people will think the gate is locked. You know that trick? Right. That's what I think they did. Sure. So, they, they, Trump sent a letter on May 29th and May 1st that said, uh, I'm still looking through the stuff, but if I haven't responded to you in a timely fashion, um, just assume I'm exerting privilege over everything in all these boxes. And they wrote him a letter back going, hi, Nixon, that's not how it works. <laughs> You don't get to retroactively, when you're no longer president, declare privilege on documents you have no right to that right. may affect well, our trade it, relations, our security relations, our national security that the current president needs yeah. to make full decisions. Right. Well, that's why his, what was the statement of the Office of the 45th President about the special master, mm -hmm. I'm requesting, a sp that's why that was so, it's a legal term, but like just cuckoo banana bread. It was, first of all, it, it's like what two weeks late and secondly right. i first of all you I, he's just trying to slow down or stop the investigation and, and request someone like a special master to right. look I, I don't but anyway it didn't no, he he literally said uh if if i don't respond to your letter um assume that i have asserted and i quote a protective assertion of executive privilege made by counsel yeah. for the former president that's not a thing. It's right. not a thing. It's like right. saying not. That's right. not. But anyway, ever but in, going to be yeah. but in this statement, he put in that same threat that he had someone, you know, f you know, conveyed to Merrick Garland before about you know, nice country you got here. It's uh, right. it seems like a little inflamed right now. Let me know how I can help to bring the temperature down. I mean, I, such an obvious threat, yeah. right? Like things, people are very angry about this. Let me know right. how I can help. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna set the uh, well. Setting MAGA loose on people is what his intention is. I got news for him, though. That's a dud grenade he's going to chuck and realize his, you know, he's empty anyways. That's, that's a mistake because while the, the fear is he will trigger some lone wolf psychopaths, he is not going to trigger a civil war. Right. It's not going to happen. There right. is not going to be a civil war, people. There's going to be some groups fighting very like viciously in a verbal fashion there's going to be some loose cannony weird people that threaten some folks right but there is not going to be uh we're not going to redo the 1800s it's not happening right um by um, the way you commented on the uh, democrats match their largest lead in generic congressional ballot you said double the margin of error maybe i'll feel like sanity is returning to the democratic base voters um right I, because I mean, obviously things are looking good, but don't get happy. Also, right. it remains the well. I'm not going to coast yeah. into this, right. and, and there and the idea that I mean, I was mad about this in the spring, and a lot of people know this. This idea of like, you know, I I just don't know if I feel inspired. I don't like. Oh yeah, guess what? Inspiration's coming. And first of all, if you think there's a coin flip between the Donald Trumps of the world and the Joe Bidens of the world, you're a lunatic, and you don't believe anything that you say you believe. Especially if you tell people you're a liberal or progressive. I don't buy it. Right. I, you know, it's it's absurd to even think that it's on parity. We are not talking about well, what's the difference between Biden and Mitt Romney or some kind of random, <laughs> you know, baseline comedy senator from you know a state that still wants to remain a state and doesn't want to be a crater because some jerk is right. in the White House going, what's this button do? I. I get so tired of that crap, and it was interesting that once the 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 Roe and Dodd uh, opinion leaked out, then people are like, "Oh yeah, what do you mean?" And I was like, "What do you mean? Oh yeah, right. this was this was set up. These three judges are there. If he gets one more judge, if these folks get one more judge, if Biden doesn't right. get to add another judge or replace one during his time." Those people are going to be making the decisions legally for the next six to ten years. Right. Unless we have enough people in the Senate and the House to codify laws, yeah. and that way the Supreme Court can't just wipe them away. Right. Um, also, they remain 
really bad at this. You're not the first to point out. The GOP uh, tweeted, 66 illegal immigrants on the terror watch list have been apprehended <clears throat> trying to enter the U.S. port between ports of entry since the fiscal year began in October. Hashtag Biden border crisis. And you said, so you're saying the border isn't open. Yes, right. I don't, don't understand. Why do they keep and then like drug seizures? They're like so. Fentanyl was seized at the border. You're like, yes, that's what's thank right. you, President it's supposed Biden. to happen. Yes, right. <laughs> Why wasn't it seized during the largest number of deaths in a single year? The I mean, the 2020 into 2021 fiscal year had uh, uh, we broke a hundred thousand fentanyl deaths, and all of those drugs came in prior to joe biden right being inaugurated right all of them yeah that was that was april to april yeah so the it, it like and and even if biden's you know idea was open border it there wasn't even time to right. get more across the border at the time they are you like people forget the obama biden administration was really efficient at who can come in who cannot come in if you're a single adult male who can work in your own country, you go right back home. If you're seeking asylum, we'll process right. you. We'll put you with a with an NGO or get a government sponsor for you. And, and you know, and it was a fairly well oiled machine. Right. Considering the uh, you know the immigration reform bill has not been passed, they basically did all the elements of it that they could yeah. do during Obama I, Biden. Charlie Pierce uh, also picked out a GOP tweet: "More terror suspects have been caught at the border in 2022 than the previous five years combined." Hashtag Biden border crisis. And Charlie said they're just going to hit themselves in the head with this hammer until either the head or the hammer breaks. <laughs> right, right. He also said stopping the flow of drugs is now a bad thing. These people simply cannot stop hitting themselves in the right. head with this hammer. I, right. I don't. They're the ones that keep alerting you to how many illegal immigrants or drugs have been stopped. Right. So I'm, I'm just under the impression that hashtag Biden border crisis is ironic. <laughs> <laughs> you mean that uh, at this point it's a it's a it's an ironic you hashtag. meant you meant thank you president biden that was yeah, the exactly, hashtag yeah. you were looking for yeah you were looking yeah. for dark brandon but okay that's right <laughs> yeah all right